Hi guys, it's TCT 2019. I'm here with 3D Evo, a filament recycling and production company. And let's hear some more. Hi guys, my name is Anton, and uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. We are here in sorry, like in a rainy UK, but it's a great day for the show. So what we have here for you guys today is the full recycling solution. So you can turn any sort of waste plastic, starting from your failed 3D prints, and you can move all the way to consumer plastics like your water bottles, your misused uh, and empty filament spools. So let me show you what we can do today. Awesome. Right, so we're going to start with the... Shredder. Shredder. Let's go. <laughs> Here we got the shredder. Uh, this is made for just the chipping of like large uh, filled prints or other waste plastics. So the point is, okay, let's say we have a filled parts or in this case we have just a bottle cap you would load into the machine and you would enjoy the fun of destroying some things it's gone right so ideally you would be left with something like this which is a very good size to either throw it into an injection molder or in our situation we would be throwing it into the uh, filament makers or depending on the type of plastic you're working with you might need to also dry it because as we know moisture is a big enemy in the 3d printing world and especially if you're working with very moisture sensitive materials like nylons or polycarbonates you gotta first dry your material so for this we also have a dryer but there's not much to explain there's just hot air going through the hopper and the material gets stirred inside and of course you wait a few hours and after that you're ready to start extruding so then you would move on to one of our extruders let's move on to the one who's actually active so you would throw your material either virgin material or recycled material here in the hopper of the machine and uh, it will get pushed through a barrel there are four heating zones which melt down the plastic and it gets extruded through this nozzle you have air cooling that needs to cool down the filament to at least adequate temperature so that it can be mod like uh, modified by these puller wheels without actually crushing it so we have the optical sensor which measures in real time you can see the actual diameter of the filament here displayed on the bottom right corner and if the optical sensor sees that the filament is too thick what will happen is that it will tell these wheels to speed up so it will stretch the filament to the desired dimension or if it's too thin they will slow down so it will give the chance for the filament to gain bulk and after that we also need to tell the machine what is the size of the spool so then this positioning arm goes from left to right to ensure that you get a neatly rolled spool and that's pretty much in a nutshell usually if you talk about extruders people would imagine a big long five meter line but everything is just made in a small compact package so that's the full 3d evo works from shredding drying and then filament creation thank you for showing us yeah thank you calvin for the opportunity cheers pleasure being here how can people check you out uh, follow us on Instagram or Facebook, 3Devo, or visit our website, 3Devo.com. You can watch around, there's a bunch of great information there, like case studies. But more importantly, visit the Pyramid page where you can get a free sample of filament. Nice, I'll be doing that myself. Yeah, well, pleasure having you then. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All good?